Hey everyone, Morgan here. So today I have a review of a jump starter pack. So the other day, it was a, about a week and a half ago or so, we were driving up the mountain. We drive through the mountain all the time. And so we have jumper cables, you know, we have extra tires, we have tire plugs, you know, we have all these emergency gears, right? Uh, emergency supplies, rather, for our vehicle. And um, we came across a father and son who were in a, a little ATV, and it looked like they were on a, a scouting, hunting mission, something like that. Anyway, um, their battery had died, and <laughs> the son was very frantic. He, he maybe was 10 years old or something, but they didn't know, you know, when the next person was going to come along. This wasn't exactly a busy day. It wasn't like a weekend or something where cars were just going to be coming by. You have no idea when a car is going to come by on that on that road. But even on a busy road, my mom stood out waiting for uh, help. Uh, it was like a, her and her husband were stranded on the side of a busy highway for four hours waiting for help. Now, there was really nothing they could do, but still, if there was something they could do, like change their own tire, plug their tire, jumpstart it themselves without needing somebody else's help, right? Uh, you know, they, they probably would have been out there, you know, way quicker. Now, having jumper cables is really great if somebody else can stop and help you, which we did for those, for that, for those people that were stranded on the mountain. We helped them because we had the jumper cables and, you know, a second vehicle, right? You need another battery or some type of vehicle or something to jumpstart, you know, your battery. You can't, you know, you can't, connect your jumper cables with air, just a, you know, a tree, it doesn't work like that. So um, that is what uh, got us really to invest in a jump starter pack. And honestly, I'm shocked we haven't had it before. Um, you know, <laughs> I cannot believe that this never even occurred to me to get, but I'm really happy that we have it, especially because we go up on that mountain so much. And you know, and we never know, you know, what's gonna happen. Um, and who's going to come by, when they're going to come by. And the whole point of preparedness is not relying or, or being less reliant on other people. And that's exactly where this jump starter pack comes in. The sizes vary when it comes to amperage. Uh, now, I've seen them at 500 amps. We have a 2000 amp and they go even higher than 2000 amps. But what you want to do is you want to get one that's going to be good for your uh, vehicle. Okay, so for your specific engine. And it'll usually say on the outside, uh, like this says eight, uh, so eight liter gas, six liter diesel. And uh, we're gonna show you here in just a second how to, how to determine which one you're going to need. Uh, you know, you could just have the little 500 one or you could have a 2000 one. Now, a thousand amps would have worked just fine for our Jeep, but we wanted something with just a little more power and this was on sale, so we really couldn't pass up getting something bigger and better and also on sale. It also has a 12 volt adapter, so anything that you could run on a car charger, you could charge on this. So this can charge two ways. It can charge with your 12 volt plug. You can plug it right into your vehicle. So as you're driving around, you can get this charged up, you know, keep it charged, whatever. Um, or it can charge by via USB. So if you have that in your vehicle or in your home, that's how you could charge it, right? So um, you're charging this. Now when you first get it, okay, this will, um, this will take about seven or eight hours to fully charge from dead. Finally, it is time to show you this baby and show you how it works. Now, um, this brand, this specific brand, this uh, NOCO, can be found at Walmart, Amazon. It's readily available everywhere. And they've got some good reviews on Amazon. They've got a ton of good reviews. This is probably, you know, one of the more highly rated ones uh, out on the market right now. Yeah. It comes with a cool little bag to hold everything. Yeah, I really like the bag because really this can be placed almost anywhere in your vehicle. Like it doesn't really, um, you know, it's not like it's a big old generator or anything. <clears throat> it comes with, uh, it comes with a charging cable. This is, you can use this to charge it via USB. Um, and then also it comes with the, uh, so there's the power adapter, the 12 volt, if you want to run devices off of it or this is the 12 volt charger, if uh, you can use that in the cable to uh, actually charge it from your vehicle. So it comes with the, all of the accessories you need to use it. That's pretty nice. 
So this is the actual boost. Look how kind of compact it is. I'm really like impressed. Like when you when I first thought of a jump starter pack, I thought it was like this big old thing, you know, like a huge battery or something. But it's just this little thing. So um, let's go ahead and uh, give it a test. Something I, something I will make note of is on the bigger 2000. This is the 2000 amp model. The uh, the cables are directly connected to it. They don't come off. On uh, the smaller ones, like the 1000 amp and the smaller, the uh, the jumper cables themselves actually plug into the device and come off. It doesn't really make a big difference. I can't see it making a difference for us at all, but I like that they're attached on this one. All right, so here's the light, and of course, just like with most flashlights, it has different modes. On. That's uh, SOS, which is pretty nice. So there you go. Really big, nice flashlight there in the front. Uh, and then the uh, USB here is on the back. All right, let's try it. Underneath, it's on the back underneath a waterproof cover. Yeah. I think it's IP67 rated as long as the covers are closed. When you're sizing your jump starter pack, um, you really need to know, you have a good idea of what size engine uh, your vehicle has. You can look that information up online just by just putting the year and make and model of your, of your vehicle into Google and say, you know, engine size. And it'll usually come up with a good roundabout, but a lot of vehicles have multiple engine sizes. So one of the easiest ways to tell is just pop your hood and look at the top of your engine. You can see on our Jeep, the top says 3.6 liter. Most modern cars nowadays have numbers on the top of their on the top of the engine and it'll look like that, 3.6L or it'll say uh, 2.0L or 2L or you know 1.4L for smaller motors. Um, bigger engines, you know, you'll see 6.0 or 8.0L for big V8 engines, uh, things like that. But you're 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 gonna want to look at look at the motor itself. It may have some numbers, numerals like that, and use a Google search to kind of get a general idea of the size of your engine. So for the purposes of this test, you'll see that I've removed the positive lead from the battery. So in this test right here, we're gonna pretend that our battery is completely shot or has or just isn't 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 working at all. Um, most of the time, when your battery is low, you're gonna have some power to help you turn on. But we want to do this in the most extreme test. So we're just gonna pretend that the battery is toast. So the first thing you're gonna to want to do is I am going to connect my positive lead. I'm gonna clip it onto the positive. So positive is red and that goes to red. Let's try to make sure that you don't accidentally cross these or touch these to anything else. So we'll go red to red and then I'm gonna unclip my black here and this is my negative. I'm gonna hook that to my negative terminal. So now we're hooked up. One of the cool things about this jump pack is if you're plugging it into a battery that's just low but it still has power, it's gonna automatically sense it and put itself into jump mode. It's gonna see that there's a battery there. When there's no battery connected or when it's like too low, it's not gonna know what's gonna happen or it's not gonna be in jump mode because it doesn't sense a battery. This little uh, red exclamation is a manual override. So if I turn the manual override on, um, so I had to press this uh, little red button right here, which is the manual override. Since it doesn't detect a battery because I'm completely disconnected, I had to do the manual override. So now I'm gonna start the Jeep only on that battery jumper. We've just jump started the vehicle, the vehicle's running. While the vehicle is running, you, uh, you want to turn this off and you want to take the plugs off and disconnect it. Um, when you're jump starting a vehicle like this, you can't turn the vehicle off if the battery is dead or else it might not start again. Um, you're basically relying on your vehicle's alternator to keep the, uh, to keep the, the vehicle up and running with the battery power that it needs. Um, so this guy is meant primarily just to get your vehicle turned on so that you can get to a, you know, a safe location somewhere that you can have it repaired or have somebody come help you, uh, something to that effect. Um, it's not something that you wanna just plug, on, plug in and leave running while you're, while you're driving. You don't wanna do that, that's, that's pretty hazardous. Um, but yeah, you can see that 
our battery right here, I've got cardboard separating. It's completely disconnected, so we were able to start the vehicle and it was running straight off of this jump pack. Um, in a real life situation, this would all stay, stay connected normally. Everything would be normally connected and our battery would just be low. So I would just clip it on, start the vehicle and you know clip it right back off. I highly, highly recommend that everybody who has a vehicle has one of these. Um, you know, the batteries can go out for a variety of reasons. You could forget your, uh, you know, you can forget your headlights on, uh, you know, you could be charging something overnight and drain it. It one could of, just die because it's an old battery. One of the things that happened to us was uh, we had our trailer connected to the Jeep and uh, the trailer lights on the back were shorted and I didn't know they were shorted and it just took one night of the trailer being plugged in all night long and we came out to start it and the battery was too low it wouldn't start mm -hmm. I had to disconnect the trailer and we had to charge the battery yeah so you know any little thing could happen mistakes happen but you know having something like this available to you so that you don't need any help you know from anybody else to jumpstart your own vehicle so then there you can go and take care of the issue you know whatever you need to do you know check the battery from there uh you know get a new battery whatever if you need any help uh selecting one uh, just leave a comment down below and we'll try to help as best as we can uh other than that get one seriously don't uh, be cheap about this. This is something that can definitely um, really help you in a very bad situation. One of the main things of your vehicle, a battery, <laughs> it's kind of a big deal. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching Conquer Tomorrow by Preparing Today. I'll talk to you later. Bye.